This video is for reference and is only used to simulate on-site inspection and maintenance. Before inspection, please read the operation instruction carefully and prepare the parts that need to be replaced. Inspection of the MDU must be done according to the provided circular diagram. Preparation Wear work clothes, work shoes, and a safety helmet. All necessary tools must be prepared. No jewelries, no sundries in the pockets. Goggles are required on special occasions, and safety belts are requested for climbing. 1. Check if there is corrosion or abnormality on the MDU appearance, especially drive shafts, door buckles, and screws. 2. Check if the bevel gearbox and other places have corrosions or oil leakages. 3. Open the MDU cabinet and check whether there is water ingress point. Pay attention if signs, buttons, handles, and other accessories are corroded. Ensure the cabinet is protected from moisture, dust, and small animals. 4. Check if the position display is normal and whether it is consistent with the remote position display. The position scale should be in the, in the green area. 5. Make sure the counter works properly. 6. Make sure the heater works properly. 7. There is a breathing hole on the top and bottom of the cabinet side. Debris needs to be cleaned up in time. One, before maintenance, record the current tap changer position and then remove drive shafts from the upper part of CMA7. Two, check the step-by-step -step control and emergency top and stop functions. Three, Check the electrical limit switch of the max and minimum positions. 4. After reaching the maximum or minimum position, insert the hand crank and rotate 2 to 3 cycles to check whether the mechanical end stop is triggered or not. 5. Short circuit the running through protection terminal to detect the running through protection time relay K21. 6. Check the heating circuit. Check whether the thermostat displays properly and whether the heater is working. 7. Insert the hand crank to check the manual protection function. Rotate one cycle to ensure the mechanical transmission is smooth without any abnormal noise or jam. 8. Check the mechanical transmission and add a proper amount of lubricating grease. 9. Make sure all fasteners and cable connections are tight. 10. Check if the laid-out terminals have signal output on terminal board. First, find the signal output terminal which is to be inspected. Connect the buzzer and flip the co corresponding contactors. The signal output is normal if the buzzer makes a sound. First, check remote control up and down. Third, check local function.
Fourth, check circuit breaker protection trip. Fifth, check limit function. Take S16 as an example. Sixth, check manual operation protection switch. Seventh, check one-to-one -one correspondence of the signal plate. Eleven, check the cam switch. Manually toggle the cam switch and look for abnormal jam. Q1 trips due to incorrect phase sequences and therefore, the phase sequence protection is triggered, causing the circuit breaker to trip. In this case, turn off power and manually rotate the MDU hand crank until the red line is in the inspection window and then change the power phase sequence. 2. Q1 trips during or after position switching. First check the time relay K21, whose low adjustment value may be the cause. Fine-tune the adjustment value and test again. If this can't solve the issue, check the tightness of the poly. Open the poly hole and press the belt. Normally, it will sag for 1 to 3 mm. If the belt is loose, Adjust the belt tension. If this also doesn't work, consider replacing the time relay. 3. MDU fails to automatically switch sequences by pressing up or down buttons. This is because the limit switch cannot reset. In terms of this, it is necessary to get rid of the corrosion on the limit switch and ensure the operation. 4. Press the up or down button but fail to adjust the position electrically. Firstly, check whether the manual protection is reset normally by hand crank. And then, check whether the motor circuit or control circuit has power supply. 5. A certain position of the signal plate has no signal output or the output signal value is incorrect. It may be due to broken soldering point or oxidized contact. Decide the position of the signal plate according to the no signal output point. Soldering points should be repaired or cleaned. 6. Position running through and when MDU stops, the red line and green area are not in the inspection window. First, turn off power and adjust the distance between the micro switches S12 and S13 or between S13 and S14. Then use the M5 Allen key to loosen the cam switch, which controls up or down to fine-tune it until the red line can be seen in the window. If the adjustment can't be done, consider replacing the intermediate relay K20. Counter replacement. First, remove the screws at both ends of the counter's support frame and take out the counter. Second, apply grease to the rollers of the counter lever. Third, tighten the screws at both ends of the support frame. Fourth, toggle the lever to check whether the cup counter works properly. Signal board replacement. Disassemble. First, remove all wires from the signal board to the terminal. 
Second, wrap the thread ends for easy removal. Third, remove the CX signal cable socket. Fourth, remove the button plate screws that fix the electrical components. Wires of the signal plate from the back of the bottom plate. Six. Remove the four fixing screws and chuck holding of the signal plate. Seventh. Remove the first signal plate and pull out the second one directly. Installation. First, align the notch of the metal part at bottom of the signal board with a fixing pin and put the signal plates back in sequence. Pay attention to the position of the signal plates. Second, Tighten the chuck holding and four fixing screws of the signal plate. Third, put the lead out wire of the signal plate into the bottom plate. Four, fix the four screws in the bottom plate. Five, fixed CX signal cable socket. Six, tighten all the wires from the signal plate to the terminal. Cam switch replacement. Disassembly. First, remove the screw fixing the drive shaft and take out the drive shaft. Second, remove the protective cover of the limit switch. Third, Remove the screws fixing the limit switch support frame and take it out. Fourth, remove the fixing screws of the step-by-step -step micro switch and take it out. Fifth, remove the screws fixing the cam switch and take it out. Installation. First, insert the fixing screws of the cam switch and put it on the fixed flange. Tighten the screws. Second, insert the hand crank and rotate one cycle to check whether the machine runs normally. Third, reinstall the limit switch and the step-by-step -step micro switch. Fourth, reinstall the drive shaft 